My name is HW and thank you so much for watching Tone Digger TV. Today we are talking about the must know pick trick and this is a technique I do all the time. In fact, I got a comment about it on the last video and I I, I kind of like think like what am I doing with this pick trick? Um, it's a technique you, you might see players using all the time but basically if you ever notice um, a player, um, I do it in a ton of videos, um, if you ever notice they're playing with a pick and then it just sort of disappears and all of a sudden they're using their fingers. Um, this is what they're doing. So the reason I think this is valuable and I think it's a must know trick is the ability to change your attack on the guitar is one of the things that makes the guitar sort of the most vocal, right? We're always with every instrument going after a vocal quality. Uh, being able to sound like the guitar is singing is really its ability to sound vocal. That's why we have things like vibrato on the guitar. Vibrato originates in the human voice. And, and that's why this instrument doesn't have vibrato built in. You have to wiggle the string and the ability to hold a note and then apply the vibrato or apply the vibrato right away or apply the vibrato widely right away or you know delaying it and then narrowly or you know holding a note out it just there's a million things you can do to mimic the human voice and they lend to style and speech in music and on the guitar and so i really like using a hard pick and then my fingers especially on a stratocaster because uh, single coils just have this great, like, you know, listen to this. That was with the fingers. Now, with the pick. Just that difference in attack is great, and I love mixing it together, where you can take your, um, where you can use your fingers for, like, like, you can use your fingers like for more of the rhythm and then really poke out a bit um, with the pick and get the harder attack like this. It's just, I don't know if you, you get that, it's, it, it's, the, it's the difference in just the relaxed kind of like comping kind of thing and then the, and then, and just, just the, I'm jumping out there, I'm trying to, I want your attention. You know, that harder attack to me lends itself to, I'm the melody, I'm the thing to be listened to, not the thing that's supporting, if that makes sense. So for me, I kind of view it as a way to separate the, 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 the rhythm and the harmony from the melody and and also just the rhythm from the lead and so i think it's really useful so i want to show you this pick trick i'm going to switch cameras here i'm going to jump down here and i want to show you this um here's here's what i'm doing I, i'm i basically have two positions and the pick trick goes like this i'm basically playing the guitar like this here's my fingers and then boom i've got my pick So the pick trick really um, is, is, is these two positions. You've got your picking hand position and it works like this. And then you hand off the pick and you've got your finger position, right? Where then I can, I can line up my fingers on the strings and I'm lining, up, um, I'm lining up fingers one, two, and three on the G, the B, and the E. And then I'm using my thumb uh, kind of like a pick to play these top strings. This is a very common finger technique. And that's commonly how I come down.
You can of course shift shift the fingers down uh, one so that the one, two, three, four becomes a D, G, B, and E. And then you get this thing. That's fine too. But the, 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 rather than focus on, on finger picking and finger style and how to access all of the strings on the guitar, I tend to transition to my fingers just to get some of that, that, those other, you know, those other stylistic uh, voicings from the guitar. And so um, those two positions. Now, here's how I would practice these two positions because this is the most useful. There, there's really no other place you can tuck a pick and expect it to work just as well. So here's how you practice. There's a couple a couple things to do. It, it looks like quick, like I'm doing things very quick here and and oh my gosh, how, how is he doing that, you know? He's, he's just sort of handing it off, you know? But that's really what I think of it as. So take this first position here, here's my finger, and I'm in this position here. This is my normal picking uh, uh, position for my hand. Now what I wanna do is I want to switch my 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 uh, pointer finger and my middle finger because I'm using my pointer finger and my thumb but I want to get to this position here so you see how I did that I have my I have the pick right in my picking position and then all I'm going to do is push this finger down and take my other finger out of the way so to show you in this position it's just like this so that's the first movement if you can practice this and get this down, you will be able to do this technique uh, very quickly. So boom, I've got here, here. And it's important actually, I just wanna make, bring it to the middle of this finger. Because once you hand it off there and you're in the middle of this finger, you're almost there. All you have to do then is quickly bend your fingers and you are holding the pick inside your hand. Now I can still look, I still have mobility of these fingers. And that's where I get this. That's where I get that movement, right? So I don't have all the movement in the world, but I have enough to hit a string. And to me, it feels very natural and it doesn't feel encumbered or strange at all. But I'm holding the pick there in this part of my hand. I hope you can see that, you can see that. Now then to go back, all I do is I go back to this position here. I extend, once I, I, I basically pinch the pick and extend my fingers and then bring it back. So I do this, as I, so as I come out, as I pinch the pick, I, I hand it back off. I do the same motion in reverse. So here's the first movement, it's the handoff, handoff, and then the squeeze. Handoff and squeeze is it, that's our only two positions. So if you're in the picking position here, go for the handoff, now do the squeeze, right? Go for the handoff, Boom, you're out. Squeeze. It's, it becomes one movement. And then you practice that. And it becomes one movement. And I'll tell you, I don't even, the pick just sort of gets in the right spot. I never, I never have the pick delivered into the wrong spot. I don't, you, it's just something you do all the time. You develop a muscle memory. So you're in the picking position. You go for the handoff, hand it off, squeeze. So again, picking position, go for the handoff, Squeeze, that's it, now you're ready to go. Just do it in reverse, you're in the squeeze, go to the handoff, and then grab it with that first finger back to the picking position. So squeeze, go for the handoff, back to pick. Pick, go for the handoff, squeeze. Squeeze, go for the handoff, back to pick. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm telling you this is the way to do it, like this is, you know, this is, it's so good when you get it, you just start to feel so free. You know what I'm saying? Several of the techniques I just used there, I won't really use with my pick very much. I start off that little phrase like this with some heavy pick attack. the riff is doesn't matter some version of this you just you just go for the heavy pick attack immediately I switch Thank you. 
pig attack, when you mix it with the softer fleshiness of your fingers, you get a different vibe and it really adds to the vocalness and the musicality of the guitar. <laughs> Listen, come on, that's that's when the guitar gets fun, you guys. That's when the guitar really gets fun and really comes alive. And it's just, it's that pick trick. It's one of my favorite techniques. Again, it's the, it's the pick here, the pick hand. We got the pick, pick hand, we go to the handoff, we squeeze. Squeeze, go to the handoff. And I look, I couldn't, I didn't even stay at the handoff, I went right to pick. Squeeze, we go to the handoff, grab the pick. Pick. Go to the handoff, squeeze. It's just it's just a handoff and squeeze, baby. Handoff and squeeze, baby. That's what she said. <laughs> that fits. Anyway, my name has been HW. Thank you so much for watching Tone TV. I hope this was helpful. I hope you got something out of your guitar playing because uh, that's why I did this video. If you want this sound, by the way, it's a beautiful sound. I haven't even released it yet, but I'm about to put it out for free. It's an amp that's out there already, but I call this patch Vibe Kiss because... It's just kiss with a little bit of vibe. When you make a mistake, it's jazz, right? And uh, the most beautiful clean in the world won't hide it, but that, that's what makes jazz jazz. Um, <laughs> anyway, I've been HW. Thanks so much for watching Tony TV. Uh, I'll have this sound coming up, vibe kiss, chorus kiss. Uh, micro kiss and a couple other cool sounds coming up in uh, uh, the next video about how to get better 3D clean. Stay tuned. HW out.